Now for tonight's show, I will be interviewing the lovely Jane Adams. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> she is a socialist, feminist, social worker, and an internationalist. She was born on September 6, 1860 in Cedarville, Illinois, and raised by her father, who was a senator for 16 years. She traveled abroad, but ultimately moved back to Chicago. Later, we will be discussing her book, 20 Years of the Whole House, and talking with her about the creation of the Whole House, along with a few personal questions. But first, here's a commercial about the Whole House and how it has benefited the immigrants of Chicago. We don't like your kind here. Yeah, we don't oh. like you. <laughs> oh. I thought I already told you, we don't like your kind here. <laughs> That's it. It's the last time I'm going to tell you, we don't want you here. Sorry. Is there a problem here? Get out of here, buddy. I'll handle this. What are you going to do about it? Oh my god. Who did that? Ah! Oh. <laughs> ah! Now I would love to welcome the stunning and selfless Jane Adams. Good evening, Jane. How are you? I'm wonderful, Stephen. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Great. So now, tell me about the whole house. The whole house is basically a boys and girls club of the 19, 1900s. We just take immigrants who are poor and um, give them a place to stay. That's beautiful. Where is the whole house? The whole house is on the corner of Halstead and Polk Streets in the underprivileged neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. What goals did you have in making the whole house? Well, my main goal was to hopefully integra integrate immigrants amongst American society and to make them functioning citizens of society. So Jane, I understand you used to have congenital spine. Can we see a picture of that? Now how did that defect, defect hinder your life? Well Stephen, as a young woman I was not active, but I was lucky enough to have it cured by surgery later in life. That's very nice. So there's rumors going around that the whole house is haunted. Is that correct? Well, I have seen some unexplainable events in my time at the whole house. I am much more than amused by them, but not as frightened. So I also heard that there was a man who claimed that he'd rather have the devil than the picture of Virgin Mary in his, child, in his uh, house. And the child was born with pointed ears, horns, scale-covered scale skin, and a tail. His mother actually took him to your whole house after that horrible catastrophe and where you attempted to baptize him and then ended up shoving him in your attic. Now, now tell me about that. Oh, Stephen. None of that is true. None of it's based on fact either. Just don't go up in the attic. <laughs> Alright. So now, tell me about your book, 20 Years of the Whole House. Well, my book, 20 Years of the Whole House, I talk about poverty and abuses that existed during the Industrial Revolution in the United States. I also dis or discuss the nursery, nursery and kindergarten that were completely supported by the whole house. Finally, I describe my fight for labor laws and how I'm seen as a women's, right, women's rights activist. Well, that was beautiful. Well, thank you for having me on the show. 20 Years of the Whole House. Go buy it.